Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by to watch the video. Alita Army, shout out to all those who enjoy this and anybody that's new. I always try to aim these videos at uh, anyone that's new to, you know, wondering what this whole Alita thing is about. So now this time I'm going to focus more on the manga. Uh, but first off, we have the Walmart exclusive pop, mini pop, keychain, I think. And I thought we'd go ahead and just unbox it. Just go for it. So first off, though, I'll show you in the box. It looks, it displays really well in the box. I know. I, I, I feel it's hard for me to pop. Uh, but I already have another one in the sealed Blu-ray vert, so might as well go for it. All right, so here we go. Um, hmm. Okay, is there a way to do this without causing any damage to the box? Or ha well, doesn't appear to be. There we go. Just had to go quick. Sometimes you just have to be really determined. There we go, the keychain part. Here she is. All right, that's cool. So that's how it comes out. And then I'm gonna pop her out. Probably be like one of my black. Oh, that is cool. I love that. that, is, that is Funko is really good at uh, designing. The one thing is, I just wish they made their boxes a little more sturdy. Because, you know, most of the ones that you find at the stores are, are really banged up, beat up, and, and sometimes, pot, you know, they're literally popped open. Okay, so here you go. Let's get a close up on her. Well, first, let's, uh, let's get the zoom on. Okay, there we go. Focus. There you go. A little brighter uh, paint. I guess that's because of the fact that she's so tiny. They probably, you know, the darker purples and metallics would probably not work so well. Let's get that. Come on. There we go. So there you go. You can see the bike. It's still a good job on something this small. She has the motorball feet on. Sorry for the puppy barking. Um, Let's just see those so you understand what I'm talking about size wise. Uh, okay, so this is this is there you go. So an inch and uh, an inch and a half to be generous. So it's an inch and a half tall, but it, it is designed to be a keychain. Honestly, they know that most people are just going to keep it in the package, but so I wanted to show that, share that with you. Now, as far as the leader goes. Um, for those who are un, don't know, it's a manga. Is it manga or manga? I always mess it up. I always say manga. Um, I'm gonna say manga. It's a manga that basically is. It's like Jap. It's some people say comic books, but they're not. They're really. They were made, created, developed for adults. Trust me, when you read through them, they are definitely for adults. The language and the violence and all that. No, I, I'm not saying anything bad about that, obviously, because I have them all. <laughs> it's really, it's actually quite fun. Um, let's see, let's get this, getting her box back in. Okay. So we just, uh, that is one tight fit. Okay, guess what? We're going to put her back in the box after the video. How about that? All right, I wanted to show this again. This is Alita Battle Angel Iron City. This is the prequel book to the movie. If you haven't seen the movie or if you're you know, really, really into the movie, this helps set up quite a bit of it. If you haven't read all the manga and all that kind of stuff, um, then this will help you set especially since there are cha some significant changes in the movie compared to the manga, the original manga. Manga, manga, I'll just keep, I'll just use them interchangeably. Somebody will crap me down in the comments. Okay, um, now I do want to get the hardback version of this, and then I also want to get the soft and hardback version of the movie novelization, just to see what the differences are. But this really sets up the characters, does the world building, all that good stuff. Now this I just got, and this is what I really wanted to show off. This is Alita Last Order Omnibus Volume 1. Look how thick this is. Now, there's only one thing. I got. I have to admit, I was a little disappointed because it's 
seven and a quarter inches tall, five, five and an eighth inch wide. So, by the way, when you get one of these books, if you're new to it, um, you don't read like you would here um, in the West, where you go, you know, you go left to right. You're going right to left. So, this is the front, this is the cover, this is where you would start. And I have never actually read the sequel series, either one. I'm going to eventually get all of them. But as you can see, it has that same great art. Uh, Yukito Kishiro, just as amazing artist, writer, just world builder. I mean, but this is a lot. The one thing I don't like about it being smaller is look how, you know, 600, 680 pages, roughly. And... Thank you, Amazon, for sending it slightly banged up. Can't get anything from them without it being slightly banged up nowadays. But, um, you know, when you open up to a full page, okay, maybe that one's not so bad. But there are some where, where it will be hard to see everything. And then imagine that you're reading, you're holding, you're really going to have to hold it like that to get everything. because Unless you really want to just straight up crack the binding, you know, and, and really go for it but this is this is the follow-up and you can get this thing for i believe somewhere between nine i believe nine and twelve dollars so that's really a good deal um now this is what i've shown you before the loot crate exclusive alita number one it's uh their version has you know a lot more than just the the first original comic now i have the deluxe versions and i am still thinking i'm gonna go through those open them up and just kind of go through the pages but um, i wanted to show you this just show you some of this amazing art show you some of how much the movie matched the original art um let's see here we have the the beginning the junkyard First part, Rusty Angel. Look at that beautiful art. Uh, there we go. And there you go. There's Elite. Of course, she's not Elite yet. And this is this is Doc Do, Do Um He looks, to be honest, he, you know, he has more of a younger, and he's a lot, you know, he does a lot more, a lot more fighting, a lot more effective fighting in in this. But uh, so he hooks her up. He gets her all set up. Uh, it's a lot more it's a lot different and of course his nurse looks a lot different it's a old guy with a lot of cybernetics um, let's see I want to go into I want to show here we go where she has her body this is where she originally they did a lot of this just dead on boom um, for the movie here's where she follows him out if you can see that clearly there's where she follows him out and then let's see right where and this is almost almost point for point with the movie you start here sometimes it will continue over here and throw you off but usually it's, it's just right to right to left all the way through here but um so you have that she stops him and then she's like no what are you doing he's swinging at her and then you realize so well that he's actually swinging at the the cyborg behind him, and then this is actually the female cyborg. In that's what she looks like. Her <laughs> she's really gone crazy. Mutation and cyborg. Um, so that they had some really crazy stuff. Obviously, they had to PG it down. Um, let's see. Go back to this. This is Makaku. And he, he, all throughout it, he eats brains, basically. And he, he grew up in the sewers. When in the part where they jumped down into that little, you know, sewer area. In this game, or in this book, you'll see here. They actually are down in... Let's get all the way down here. So she falls down. It's, it's huge... It's basically the old city. They call it the great old city. Um, so basically, you can think of Los Angeles that's been buried, in it, but it's really a sewer. And that's where he grew up. 
so you get more detail he's holding this baby hostage so she's coming to get him see this way I don't give away and it makes people still want to get this hopefully he has a little bit of a magneto look here now his look changed because he literally stole the body from another from a champion um, it was pretty twisted how he did it too but um, so you have a lot of the fighting one of the parts of the dog I was so I felt so freaked out because the dog comes in rips out his eye rips out her arm piece from his eye but much different fate for this dog though because you're you're a good guard dog and she sends him off with the basket and he runs off and takes the baby to safety and then it's one of the coolest looking scenes here you go take a look at the dynamic just the way the art goes the way it flows here I hold it steady and then take a look don't touch the baby or the, the dog your only opponent is me and here she reveals that and by the way in between I'll just give you the berserker body was not found in by herself by in a in an alien thing in this version he already had dr. Ito already had the berserker body down hidden in his uh, basement and um, it was adaptable for male or female so it was still the general you know same thing the Martian tech and all that and adapted obviously to her female form but um, here they even describe greater powers where she can go up to 15,000 degrees centigrade plasma jets from her hands which they kind of hint at but here's where she literally blows all of his uh, his entire arm off I believe if we go to uh, art so nice. there we go see took out took out all the lines just blew it completely out i know all that that because he talks to his onboard computer but basically she just drops the smack down on him and uh this is just it's really great and the reason i'm showing you this is so you can see where how um you know where the everything kind of came from the, the deluxe set is the way to go if you want to start off because especially if, well if you can find it for around 40 to 75 bucks on sale like I did then you'd be really good uh, they sell I just called a used bookstore second and Charles and they are selling them for $30 each used so and there's I think six of them in there so yeah definitely a good deal if you can find it on sale uh, cheaper than that but I just wanted to show you this um, translation notes the original title of the Battle Angel Alita series in Japan is Ganmu. I thought it was Gunnam. Uh, which author styles Gun? Oh, which the author styles Gunnam? Oh, okay. So it's for, it stands for Gun and Dream. Likewise, the protagonist's name is not Alita, but Gali. Gari. At the time of its original translation to English in the mid-1990s, the title of the series and its namesake were changed to make it more appealing to an English-speaking audience, especially given the niche audience for manga at, the, manga at the time. As the demand for stories from Japan has grown over the years, you better believe it has, such changes to the core presentation of these creative works are now largely seen as unnecessary or distracted. Yeah, you don't really need to. However, in recognition of the familiarity among Western readers with Battle Angel Alita over the many years of its publication, continuing through the sequel series Battle Angel Alita Last Order that I just showed you, which I just have part one of, that there's, there, I think there's six of these 600 page omnib omnibuses, and then there's the whole Martian Chronicles um, and it talks about the live action film these changes will remain in place for this edition with any alterations noted here so then they go through all the pronunciation and all that they go through that and then they give you the Mars Chronicle volume one and they give you a whole almost all of it so I don't want to spoil that because that's heck I don't want to spoil it for myself I haven't gotten that far so this is the loot crate edition I got it from the loot vault unfortunately the loot vault has closed I think to anyone unless you uh, subscribe and get the loot boxes 
hole in which case you're good to go uh, as long as you've gotten those if you have gotten those you should be set um, because right now with the set uh, it's a uh, I think um, if you get what I mean is if you get the one of those loot crates if you get one monthly you're able to get into the loot crate vault and by getting into the loot crate vault you can get all the deals and they had uh, these for like nine dollars and then ten dollars off or something crazy like that I paid almost nothing so I have two this is my reader one and then I have one that I'm just keeping in pristine condition because it is a Loot Crate exclusive and I I greatly fear that Loot Crate's not going to be around for too much longer. I, I'm sensing the blockbuster feeling. I hope not. I hope not. I never wish it or on anything like that, but um, it seems that to be going that way. Hope not, though. Um, but I just wanted to show you that and that's that's she's basically the story is just filled with heart and the movie while it's great if you can get this ahead of time and get th that or even after you've seen it if you're new to it and you want to pick up this pick this up and just be in the movie world that would be great and then even the novelization because then you know you get everything plus the little extras and then you understand even deeper what's going on they can't make a three or four hour movie I, it would be great if they did but I mean that would be they you know then they definitely would not have made very many sales that's speaking of that if you have the opportunity this is a great movie to watch for anybody anybody that anybody that feels beat down or feels like they can't do it you know they can't get through things it's an encouraging film it's a film that starts off with love and just openness and not, not almost naivety that she has but exploring this new world this life that she has and then of course she grows she has a proper hero's journey she goes up she goes down she goes up she goes down and then uh, at the end she prevails and is ready for the sequel that we desire so greatly so if you can buy the blu-ray uh, that helps us that would help everyone out especially you know the people in the elite army they're working really hard to, to get it uh, help everyone out though that, that wants to get that sequel because those sales and even official merchandise and, and one thing I want to point out is if you get it on eBay I mean if that's the only way you can do it and you get a great deal hey do what you gotta do um, I got this on eBay um, but then again I already bought the blu-ray from Walmart that has it in it and I've just kept it wrapped but um, so I know that's that's actually the first pop I've ever opened I think <laughs> but um, so if you are interested though in really good movies and a, a movie of the two that you can watch with the family um, that has probably the greatest CGI ever since Avatar. I don't know if anyone else noticed, by the way. I'm sure you did. The final scene where she where close up on her eye and then it goes straight to credits, which is exactly what happened at the end of the first Avatar movie. Which, I mean, that seems to be James Cameron's little way of saying this, that he really does plan to make that sequel. But as long as they see that that merchandise, so if you buy it at Target, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, any of those kind of places, you know, then it goes, they officially count, goes towards them, they'll see the sales and things like that, and they'll see that there's a great interest in it. Even if you're buying the manga, you, it's going to show, wow, there is a big interest in this. Matter of fact, though, uh, I, I spoke to that the person I spoke to at Second Charles that gave me those prices earlier told me that they had an entire row of Alita stuff, and they have sold out, uh, he said, we sold out in like two days. And that made me feel really good. Now, Second Charles, I don't know if they report directly. I don't think so, because they're literally called Second Charles for a reason. Um, but then again, they are tied to Books a Million, so maybe they report themselves. But it would be great if you could support it. And um, anyway, we really appreciate it. I have a photo gallery coming up at the end here. Just some images that I like from the manga, as well as some images that I've made that I tend to like put in there just to pump people up and give them an idea of the movie and some great images. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging in here. If you're still here at 20 minutes, I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. 
and I hope you liked it. And if you want, down below in the comments, if you want to see, by the way, yeah, go ahead, correct whatever mispronunciations I did. I don't mind. But uh, also, though, if you want to see me do the deluxe ones, the colored ones, and go page by page, just showing, talking about it, things like that, that way it's transformative. It's not, you know, the same thing as buying it. We want people to be buying them. But um, let me know down below what you think. Thank you so very much for watching, and you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night. See you in the next video. We're on Twitter. C come on over to Twitter. I'm always there.